BBL jersey. I know why he got that BBL. Wait, did Drake actually get a BBL? Yes. Like confirm. Like what yes. on his ass? I thought that. Was I have really good sources, <laughs> and he was like, "Do you want to do like a golden shower, a brown shower?" And I'm like, "Honey, no, we're keeping it at." Wait, brown shower. So when you shit on someone, he wanted me to poop on him straight up. He was like, "I would love for you to give me a brown shower and just be like, oh, you like your ass eating now? I heard you put your legs up in the air. Mm -hmm. You know, I love it. I already know that he's the messy one, and you're the more responsible one. How'd you know? Because he was like, yeah, 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 say, 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 it's going to be viral. And you're like, maybe not. And he's like, yes. Yeah, see, I'm the mature one. <laughs> Crazy. He's the chaotic one. Yeah, yeah, you're spot on. <laughs> Wait, Wait, how do you feel about that? And, um, Who do you think's older out of us two? You. Me? <laughs> Did I get right? No. Uh, no. Oh, dang. Okay, I, I'll give you another one. One of us is married. Who do you think is married? <laughs> I mean, I'm... Oh, oh, you have a lot of jewelry on. Yeah, but I could just be homosexual, right? <laughs> mm, well, he said he maybe is a homosexual, so I'm going to say you. There's no, I'm not married. I'm single. You're I'm married. married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, life must be good. It is. It is. Yo, sorry, <laughs> is this a doc? <laughs> All right, we're going to do it here. All right, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> oh, here. dogs? Oh, oh. No, I'm not, oh. I'm not dogs. <laughs> we're um, not going to get into the dog conversation. Wait, what's the dog right? conversation? Oh, you didn't hear the new the new thing that came out in about Drake yesterday that he there was a um, like a recording of him fucking a dog. That's a new one. Yeah, the, the guy has way bigger fish to fry than what? me saying he wants his e his ass eating out. It's Ooh, bad. Welcome back to Seeking Success <laughs> Podcast, number one podcast in Toronto. What a way to start the show. Yeah, Drake wow. is eating. No, no, I think he. Wait, no, you said no, no. He's. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna repeat what you said, but uh, he's playing with dogs. Okay, so we we have today a crazy Latina. Self-proclaimed, by the way, I didn't say that. Um, and you're probably Drake's biggest op. For sure. I'm the biggest fish you gotta fry. At least for this weekend. This, this weekend was fun. I feel like I saw him in the ground and I was like, this is my moment. Ba, 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 and I didn't fucking stop. Then on Monday I said, okay, that's it. We're going back to the usual. We're done with this. But it was definitely a fun weekend where I got my little taste of karma. You shoot a man when he's down. <laughs> well, yeah. Lady, you you like... gotta wait for your opponent to be on the ground. I mean, ah. he's a really strong opponent. He's really powerful. He's really smart. I'm never gonna underestimate that man. And I knew that that was my moment and my chance to make my move. Okay. Gosh. Okay. Let's let, let's let's go to the start of all yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So first off, why are you called the crazy Latina? Why are you the crazy Latina? Because the one that warns does not betray, and when I say that, I can get away with murder. I just plead insanity. I yeah, show I'm my videos. Scared. <laughs> I just show my videos, and I'm like, yo, I'm insane. Like, I can get away with anything. Well, the it's one interesting you said that, talking about being insane, because when you're making the Drake diss track, I'm like, oh, this girl's crazy, just diss tracking Drake for the sake of diss tracking Drake, right? Then we hear the backstory, and I'm like, oh, there might be some, some, uh, connections. some, some connections here. No, I think the biggest paradox about me is that I'm saner than what people think. I'm pretty sane. I'm pretty like <laughs> self-aware of my insanity, okay. which makes me pretty sane. I know that what I did this weekend was chaotic. Okay. I was aware. I was like, yo, this is going to be so fucked up. But it was just, it was flow. Like I'm a really spiritual person. I went to the studio. I was going to do a completely different song. I could care less about Drake. I was, and I was like, I can't sing because I had a cold. And it was like really high notes and shit. So I tell my producer, I'm like, yo, what are we going to do? And he's like, let's do a different song. So he puts on the first beat and I have to write on the spot. And I'm like, what can we write about? And I'm like, yo, I've been living about how he's getting destroyed because my producer knows that like, I'm not, I hold grudges. I don't forget. I'm a spiteful little fucking petty bitch. And seeing him getting fucking destroyed and clowned and everything, I was like, <gasps> I was eating my fucking popcorn. And Crazy. everything that Kendrick said in that goddamn diss track was so true. The sneak dissing. Like, so many people were like, you're crazy. I'm like, bitch, I'm not crazy. That motherfucker watches everyone in Toronto, and he's a little bitch. And then when I saw him, like, come, like no, no, it's, really okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. No, no, I, I love it, I love it. Carry on. And then when I saw so all that So he watches us, too. But keep oh, going. Be careful. He, he definitely has seen us. <laughs> I think he watches everything in the city. I think Toronto's his ego. Mm. I don't know. I'm a really observant person, and when someone fucks with me, I analyze every little detail. I'm a little psycho like that. Okay. Yeah, you kind of <laughs> give off like psycho vibes a little bit. No, <laughs> you know why I, I agree with you is because she actually doesn't give the psycho vibes. That's the scary part, right? No, like, she definitely. We saw, we saw her resume, and she's so nice, being polite, sitting quietly. No, but that. The, bro, trust me. Like, I know that's I what I'm like, saying. That's what I'm saying. It's yeah, like yeah. that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but I, I saw. Aren't all Latinos just crazy? We are all crazy. I think so we're you're all like just really passionate. And like, 
I do want to say that this track, I never meant for it to be hurtful or cruel, because I do think that that man was really cruel towards me. Okay. Uh, the diss track is not meant to be malicious. It's meant to be mischief. It's meant to fuck around with him fun. and just have fun. Um, I, I don't look to hurt people. Like, what he did to me, it really hurt me. And I think that if he is a person with a minimum amount of empathy, he could put himself in my shoes and think like, yo, I was an upcoming artist. I was alone in the city. I was getting clowned. I had nobody. And he was giving likes and following the people that were clowning me. Like, what the fuck did I do to you for you to do that? Crazy. I hold a grudge. Crazy. I hold a grudge. That makes no fucking sense to me because I'm crazy, but I don't hurt people. Mm. So when I saw him down, I was like, yo, this is the moment I can go a little chaotic and have my little fun. And I didn't think of it. I was not thinking that that would happen. And when I start writing the song, at first it starts chill. You know, it's like revenge, um, success is the best revenge. It starts really chill. I love the weekend. So, oh my God, I want to rep XO. And all, this fucking song is going to have like XO everywhere. Um, and then he's like, wait a minute, but Metro put out that beat. And I'm like, oh my God. And I'm like, oh, but we should have done the beat. And he's like, what if the second verse, we just change it to that beat? And I'm like, fuck it, bring it on. And I'm like, okay, this is going to get chaotic. And I'm like, if I do this, this is going to be bad. But I used to be a sex worker. I did everything in the menu of sex work I've done. Um, so I know basically everything. You know, host talk. Th those NDAs don't work. They're losing their money. That's all I got to say. I feel like me without an NDA can keep a secret better than these bitches. Crazy. Oh, my no? God. <laughs> Crazy. Seriously, I know so many things about so many of these guys. And I'm like, yo, meanwhile, you don't fuck with me. We're all good. Well, you know what? This is a safe space, so feel free safe. to share. Yeah, yeah, you could, you could tell anything. us. Yeah. 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 No, okay, no, without, yeah. without name dropping, right? What's like the craziest story you heard that was supposed to be under an NDA? Ooh. Um, Good question, right? I'm, I'm not going to say names, of course. Yeah, I would yeah, never do that. But Let's definitely. just say, for example, like the person we'll imagine is him. Crazy, no. <laughs> I will imagine it's you. <laughs> Crazy. Well, I definitely heard of like... I don't know if it's crazy because I'm someone that's really sexually open. So that's also why I don't think it's a diss track in itself because I'm like, there's nothing bad with liking your ass even out. I think it's something okay. But, you know, some people see it that way. But the craziest thing is that they would do like three sims and four sims and stuff. And like they would be giving each other more attention than they would give the girl. Or also wait, wait, a lot wait, wait, of like, like two guys and two girls. And like, yeah, the dudes are, that's like rappers. Crazy. But yeah, of course, I'm not going to give any names. We're going to leave it there. Okay. But I'm really self-aware of my insanity. So I think that that's what makes me actually pretty normal in a sense. I feel like people, I, everyone's fucking insane, but they mm. just, they're not self-aware of it. So they go around doing fucked up shit. And then it's like, oh, I'm a victim. I'm like, no, you're not a victim. You're fucked. We're all fucked. Okay. <laughs> okay. Fair. Okay. Crazy. So I feel like you didn't tell the audience. So what is the actual backstory? What is the actual beef with you and Drake? Really quickly, I guess. So, in quick, I was getting clowned in Six Buzz back in the day. Um, <clears throat> I've always been really nice and sweet and a lot of people and naive and people have taken a lot of advantage of that. And Six Buzz saw me and they were like, yo, this is fresh meat. I was alone in fucking Toronto with nobody and I was getting clowned and this man was like, ooh, like, ooh, follow. And I used to admire him a lot. Like, the reason why I'm hurt and I'm, I have a grudge against him is because I used to admire Drake. And I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? So that's what started my little grudge. And I tried to tell myself, I was like, oh, it's not that bad. But I stopped lying to myself. I'm going to hold my grudge. I'm going to be petty and I'm going to have fun with it. Okay, so let's just say Drake talked to you and you guys hashed it out. Would you guys be friends again? Would you guys be cool? Or not friends again, would you guys be cool after that? Would you let go of everything? Would you forgive and forget? Uh, I guess if he had the empathy to understand, but I think he he would have done that before. I think that if he could get put himself in my shoes and understand why I was hurt, you know, then yes. I, I Like, I put myself in his shoes, and I think that what's happening to him right now is really fucked up. Yeah. I don't think anyone should get his house shut down. I don't, like, the accusations are really fucked up. I just wanted to, you know, keep it lighthearted, keep it stupid, keep it immature, and just be like, oh, you like your ass eating now? I heard you put your legs up in the air. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> that is crazy. That yeah, it's actually wild. Yo, have you ever got your ass eaten out? Never, bro. Yeah, and I'm going to keep it that never? way. No. They like it a lot. Guys like it a lot? Really? <laughs> Apparently, that's so, where the guys... It's going to be a hard conversation to have at home with my wife. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, you like, should experiment. Oh, no, 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 no. I nah. feel like everyone who thinks that it's a <clears throat> diss, it's because they haven't experimented their sexuality. So they feel like it's like, oh, my God, she's insulting him. And it's like, no, it's so normal. Like, come on. I don't know if it's normal. Like, okay, I think if you got, like, ten random dudes, probably maybe one of them's gotten their ass eaten out. Honey. You think more? <laughs> okay. I'm super gay. Like, I'm in the gay community. Okay. The amount of men that are, like, secretly bisexual and are doing all, a whole bunch of stuff through the ass, you, oh, my God, like, no. I would say that from 10 guys, eight are, like, closeted and do a lot of stuff nah, through their no, ass. There's no way. And two are, like... Totally straight? Yeah, I think, I, I think most people are bisexual, though. That's my, that's my take on it. You think so? Maybe not to, like, I don't know if... To, so maybe not to form a relationship, but sexually, I think we're all capable of being bisexual. What does that mean, though? Okay, like, for example, like, you know how, like, girls would be like, oh, my God, she's so hot to another girl. But, like, she wouldn't go and fuck the girl, kiss the girl, but, like, she's just saying the girl's pretty. Is that also a level of bisexuality? No, I would say in the sense of, like, for example, me, um, I would have sex with a girl for sure. I don't know if I would date a girl. <laughs> I had sex with girls, but I don't know if I would. I mean, I'm not saying no. I never say no to anything. I'm really open. But I haven't dated a girl yet, and I feel like when I think of the love of my life and I write love songs, I think of a man. Like, mm. it never crosses my mind that it's a woman. Mm. Maybe I have it really, like, in, like, in my head, like a chip, and I have to, like, deconstruct that. Yeah. Um, but for now, I imagine a man. Do you do shrooms often at all? No, I okay. I have this thing with shrooms. I do them once a year, okay. and they're like special trips for me. Okay, yeah, because the reason I ask is it obviously opens up your trait openness, and people who do shrooms are more likely, you know, to to experiment to more. To do orgies? Not not necessarily orgies, <laughs> but like just in general, they're they're, they're more their trait openness is. is Yo, more is that open. why you keep trying to do shrooms? That's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. Yo, there's something you want to say? That? I, I just smoke a lot of weed. Muslim, man. That's my that's my vice, weed. Fair. I came back to Canada, and the first thing I did was grab the biggest fucking joint, and I was like. Oh. Love. <laughs> Wait, so, okay. I, I'm, fuck, I'm still, like, mind blown about all Oh, man. There's so, a okay. lot to unpack. Yeah, there's a lot to unpack. I don't know where to start. Do you want to know something that I, I might do it? I want to say it here on the podcast sure. just because of, like, okay. if Drake's team is not okay with this, they can talk to me. But until they do that, I will do it because I think it's a great way for him to, to connect with the gay community um, for Pride, we're going to put out shirts that say, started from the bottom and you're still a bottom. Happy Pride. And, I, and yeah, we're going to sell it to people. And we're thinking of like donating the, the proceeds to charity. Uh, that's a good cause. So, I mean, I don't think he should get mad about that. I think it has its humor and a little mischief. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still shocked that the eight out of ten guys would do like a butt play. Oh, my God. Are you talking about like full on like dildo? Or like you talking about like this like little a little finger like what are we talking about? It's odd what? how curious you are. I mean, I was. <laughs> I've, never, I've never heard that a before. A little bit of everything. Crazy. I just think that after being surrounded by so many like gays and being in the community, okay, there is just so many closeted people. It's insane the amount of closeted men. The biggest fetish is trans women. The biggest fetish, like Wait, you have so many men being like, "Ooh, she's trans," Ooh. and then they like, they're looking for trans women. Wait, what do you mean they're looking for trans? What does that mean? A lot of straight men, straight married men, yeah. their biggest fetish is a trans woman. And so they, they will act like they are disgusted by trans women, but that's their biggest fetish. And then like when their wife is not seeing them, they want to get fucked by a trans woman. Well, how do you know this, though? Because I'm in the community. I, I've, I have Grindr. Don't ask me why, but I do have a Grindr account. What's Grindr? Grinder is the app you use, like gays use to meet oh, each oh, other. Oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. And they were like, why is there a cis woman here? And I'm like, I'm just having fun. Send me your dick pic. Sometimes they invite me because they want me to watch and stuff like that. I don't go, but I think it's fun. <laughs> a lot of this sounds for them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here like, wow, this is uh, so BBL Drizzy. <laughs> BBL Drizzy. I know why he got that BBL. Wait, did Drake actually get a BBL? Yes. I confirm. <laughs> Like, what, yes. on his ass? I thought that was... I have really good sources. <laughs> yes. Like, here in Toronto, or he went somewhere else to get it done? Miami? I don't know that oh, okay. detail, but it's Sorry, true it's that, that he got... Then. I didn't hear BBL, but from a really good source, I heard lipo. You heard what? Someone... Okay, that's not terrible to, like, get, remove some fat. I mean, he did have a really cute ass. I think it went to his ass. Oh, you think he pulled out of, like, fat area and then shot himself in the mm -hmm. ass? That's crazy. 
That's crazy. <laughs> Hey, he just likes his at, his butt being played with. So I mean, I guess he wants his butt to look good. There's nothing wrong with that. Bro, well, I, I feel uncomfortable if a girl even like slaps my butt as a joke. <laughs> I played dominatrix once a couple of times. Okay, so I saw a vi- uh, I don't know if we're supposed to talk about this, but I saw a video on Twitter. Oh, I don't even want to talk. I, mean, I, I know which talk one. About it. I know which one. God, that was a fun experience. Oh my god! I saw that and I, I felt uneasy. I was like, oh. I, just to make it clear, I'm a performer. I'm an entertainer. I'm a show person. So that was a character. I was like, yo, I'm going to get into this character. I know there, there's this big like niche and fetish um, around this thing. So I'm going to play a little bit. I'm going to create. I'm, gonna, I'm an actress. I'm going to get into this character. And yo, it's crazy. Like this man, he was like, you can do anything to me. And I'm like, anything? And he's like, yeah. Like he wanted a cigarette to be like put out in his mouth. And I'm like, I've never done this in my life, but whatever. Wait, wait. Like wh- burning why? his tongue? Yeah. Wait, like, why did he want? Like what was this for? Like just for fun? That's what they like. That's their humiliation. Fetish. Humili- is, is that yeah, humiliation? Complete, humi- complete humiliation. <clears throat> and he was like, "Do you want to do like a golden shower, a brown shower?" And I'm like, "Honey, no. We're keeping it at wait brown shower." So when you shit on someone, he wanted me to poop on him straight up. He was like, "I would love for you to give me a brown shower." And, and wait, like, he, he paid you for this? No, he did it for free because I do have a special page and OnlyFans, um, and that's what I fund my music with. Okay. So a lot of times I choose, I try to look for ventures that will make my month go up and for that month it was like okay i'm gonna try this dominatrix thing i know it's gonna get it's gonna be controversial so it's gonna bring more people in my page um and this guy just came by himself i made him sign a contract like he had to sign a full contract that he was aware of what he was doing that he was okay with all the humiliation i got lawyers everything and when he was there he was just i think not the weirdest thing because to me at this point in my life nothing is weird he was like he was the sweetest most loving person and then <laughs> no, no but seriously when he came in before we start like the full filming i was with my friends and my friends were just in shock imagine filming that i was with three friends in the background oh, and they were no. like <laughs> my friends were just like what the fuck is going on because they never saw something like that and when i get in a character i get in a character nothing is going to break me and if i am fucking humiliating you and kicking you and stomping on you and spitting on you Rest assured, I'm going to be the biggest fucking bitch and a cunt, and nothing's going to stop me. And my friends were like, what the fuck is happening here? And I grabbed the cigarette, turned it on, and he was like, put it out in my mouth. And I'm like, okay. Then I ate something. I spit it on the floor, and he ate it. No. I swear to God. It's, it was, it was. It, okay, but wait, wait. wait like, does he end up, like, nutting at any point or no? No, he, like, it was so weird because the moment I stepped, he wanted me to step on his, on his dick with my heels. I was like, okay. So I started stepping, <laughs> which... <laughs> Wait, well, like the pointy part? <laughs> the pointy part of what? I did have pointy heels, though. I did have pointy heels, though. I had, like, the, um, the bulk ones. But I was still, like, stomping on him with a lot of, like, passion, you know? And all I saw... And this is a little icky. No, 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 Oh, my God. But no, they don't come. They don't come. No, 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 no. They can. The, the, the dick was, like... I, I, I don't understand how he liked that. Personally, like... As an actress, I will do it, but when I get out of the character, I was like, dude, what the fuck was that? Because I've, I've done some pretty fucked up shit, but like, the point of putting a cigarette out and having the guy even want me to like brown shower him, I was like, oh, that's some freaky ass shit. Like, I've seen a lot of things. So the but. brown shower is where, where you draw the line? Uh, the golden shower. That's, Silver okay, shower okay. is spitting, and I did that. Golden shower, I've done golden showers. But I was not going to do it on camera. Like, I'm an mm. artist. I can't have a video of me peeing on a man going around the internet. That's a bit much. I already have a lot of things that are pretty border. I feel that one would be, and no, a brown shower. I would never know. No. Okay, hold on, hold on. So one day, so it sounds like one day, you sound like you like want to settle down one day. You're going to be married or whatever. Oh, of course. Okay. I'm super romantic and corny. So <laughs> would you want to have like an exclusive relationship or would it be like more open just based on the line of work that you've been in in the past? Um... I'm a really open person, but I think uh, it's hard because I say now without being in love with anyone that I would be fine with an open relationship. Yeah. But the only thing I would not be okay about an open relationship is that are you going to wear protection for everything? Like, Mm. you know what I mean? You want to go fuck someone else, that's fine, but I want everything protected. Like, Mm. I don't want you to bring anything at home. So maybe the the only reason why I would look for exclusiveness is because of health reasons Fair. um but let's say that the person was like you all protect everything like okay then for now i'm not in love with anyone 
Yeah, go do your thing. I don't care. Interesting. What if you just get te- that's tested after having your partner? I mean, you can get tested. That doesn't mean you're not going to get anything. True. Let's say let's say you fuck someone and you eat a girl's coochie and you don't use a damp. You can get something and you can bring it to me and I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> but what's a damp? A damp is like a, a condom for the coochie. For the girl, yeah. Ah, yeah. Because okay. that can give you something too. And I'm like, okay, <clears throat> maybe you're just thinking of wearing your condom during sex, but what about the rest? Okay, okay. You know what? Enough about sex. <laughs> sex is obviously a very fun topic. It's cool. Uh, but you're you're an artist, right? And you're, you're, <laughs> yeah. you're popping off right now in the city. So uh, how'd like that, that transition go? Because you said a little bit you were in the adult industry-ish and then transition to music. So let's talk about the music. When did you start making music? I started around five, six years ago now. I was always an artist. I was a theater kid. Um, and then I finally got the balls to say, I'm going to put out my music. It was hard because at the beginning it was not received well. Yeah. Uh, I was only known in a way in Toronto. And they were really hard on me because I'm not, like I rap, but I'm not a rap artist. Yeah. I use rap as a resource in certain songs. Yeah. And it was like, what is this Lady Gaga ass bitch doing rapping? You do look a little bit like Lady Gaga. Yeah. Oh, and like yeah. the art I do goes towards that direction. Um, and then it happened that I became really viral in TikTok. Uh, and finally, people in South America started seeing me and fucking with my music. And I also grew with, I would say I, I grew a lot with time. And now I've been finding a way to actually make really meaningful <clears throat> stuff because all the sex work and all the things that I lived, they were pretty traumatizing. That's why also I'm kind of insane. But <laughs> I think that it brings a lot of meaning to what I do and it can have a message because I like I made really poor choices I'm not going to be here promoting go be a sex worker I'm I love sex workers I'm always going to fight for them but it was not the job for me yeah yeah yeah. I'm a really sensitive person it fucked me up a lot um and I learned a lot of things by just I was really young I was by myself a lot of people took advantage of me it was just bad it was not a an atmosphere for me um and because of that, I can have now a message with the work I'm doing. And now I'm starting a series that every single video clip is going to be a chapter. And I'm going to start telling my story and the things I've learned. Okay. That's pretty dope. dope. Stupid D. Pretty dope. I have a question. What's your um, biggest song? Like, my of all time? biggest song. So I hit a million streams with Go Fuck Yourself okay. uh, yesterday. So Congrats. Right on. Can yes. you, can you, we ask all of our artists, can you give us a quick rendition of that song? Like the hook or something? Go fuck yourself, I love myself like nobody else. Go fuck yourself. Woo! <laughs> poetry, no, but that was... <laughs> <laughs> poetry, <laughs> poetry my mom. That Crazy. was definitely a song that... It was them. such... Just like <clears throat> BBL Drizzy, which is why I think BBL Drizzy was God talking through me i Crazy. swear to god I, I i have those spiritual little things um it was born in the moment i remember i went to the studio super mad at a guy i was like this motherfucking piece of shit who the fuck does he think he is and he put the beat on and i was like go fuck yourself and suddenly the song was born and it was so in the moment and so just natural flow and i'm like that's the song that hit the million so oh my. okay and does does spotify send you like a plaque or something when you hit a million streams or do they send out anything to their artists? I don't know. Like when you go gold, cute. I think. Yeah. I forgot who's telling me this. So gold is when you hit a certain amount of streams, but it's about units sold. So okay. one Spotify stream isn't one unit sold. Okay. It's, it's like a, there's like a, a way to calculate. Spotify is kind of like mm, YouTube does. Like YouTube, when you yeah, reach YouTube a million you, subscribers, they yeah. send you. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. You have you have a decent amount of subscribers on YouTube too, right? Um, I'm at 161. So do you have the silver plaque? I do. That's Jeez. sick. I got That's so sick. Plaque. Yay. Jeez. Which one do you have? Do you have the other one where it's like framed and then the plaque's inside of it, or do you have like the newer Silver one? Silver one. Oh no, the one that's framed and the little thing inside. Gotcha. No, that's the OG one. That is OG one stuff. Damn, that's that fucking is sick. OG one stuff. Now I want to ask more about your background. So you grew up in in Mexico, Argentina. <laughs> Buddy, like, oh, but, but you speak uh, Spanish. Typical gringo that thinks that everyone that speaks <laughs> Spanish is Mexican. He's a gringo. What, what's a gringo? Gringo is American people, n- North American people. Ah, cool. uh, you gringo. So you, you he's speak- actually. A terrorist. Crazy. So you speak Spanish, but you're not from Mexico. No, I'm from Argentina. We're, you know Messi? Yes. Messi, we won Messi, the World Messi, Cup. Messi, Messi, we're world Messi, champions. Yeah. He's a soccer player, yeah? Yeah, the best in the world. Okay, okay. Yes. So you speak Spanish, but you're not He's from Mexico. He's a Ronaldo fan. He thinks Ronaldo's better than Messi. Oh, my 
God. What a green girl. I mean, right? I respect Ronaldo a lot because he got everything he got by hard work. By hard work. And yeah. Messi was born with it. But I feel like that's the difference there. Crazy. <laughs> so, no to the Mexico. Argentina, Argentina. Cool, cool, cool. cool. Buenos, were you born in Buenos Aires? Buenos Aires, yeah. Crazy as Buenos Aires. I actually miss Toronto a lot. If you think Toronto's crazy, you go down there. And it's crazier? It's a really, it's a heavy energy. Mm. People are really passionate. They're really crazy in a good way. But um, I realized how much I loved Toronto when I left. And I was like, yo, I need to go back to my city now. Wait, like, so what was the time I'm like? Like you grew up here and then went there or you grew up there and came here? I grew up there and I came here at 17, 18 and I was here for 10 years and now I went back there for like a year and a half and I just came back here. Oh, oh I thought you were like 20. Oh no, I'm 20. I'm turning 28 now in June. Wait, Thank you. But the you don't, Botox is working. Crazy. But you don't have a, an accent. I do have a little bit though. No. I mean, it's getting better now that I'm back in Toronto and I'm speaking in English, but now I live with my roommates that are all Mexican and I'm talking Spanish all the time. Oh, so you are Mexican. <laughs> Argentinian, bitch. But you said your roommates are Mexican. Yes, my roommate's Mexican. <laughs> and you speak Spanish. Yeah, and I'm Argentinian. Okay. But yeah, the more I speak in Spanish later, you can hear the <laughs> accent a little bit. Okay. Like, it comes out sometimes. Okay. Can you, can you uh, to the camera, like, give a message to Drake in Spanish, please? Be real passionate. Puta madre, uh, she's going to say something... Te vas a arrepentir por el resto de tu vida de haberme jodido a mí porque ahora te voy a romper las pelotas y me voy a recagar de risa y lo voy a hacer sin maldad. Tranquilo, es sin maldad. Eh. <laughs> Tranquilo, like calm down, right? Like calma, calma. Yeah, no, I just told him that he's going to regret for the rest of his life having fucked with me, that I'm going to break his balls until the end of time. And just for him to be Crazy. fine, it's it's not malicious, it's just fun. It's Pam, just it's, fun. It, Pam, in Spanish, it sounded sexy, like she was like seducing him. That, that's what I thought too. My dad must love messages. I was like, yeah, I was like, oh, okay. No, okay. did you see that man's penis? No. It's so long, I would run away from that. Crazy. I swear to fucking God. Oh my God. Like, Cogzilla. I, I seen it. I seen did it. Did you actually? 100%, bro. You haven't seen it? No, I actually haven't. I think he's capping. Uh, on God, I haven't seen it. On everything it's I love. It's long. You actually seen it? Yeah. You I'm a curious? tiny ass bitch. Yo, you're so gay, That's fam. not gay. What do you mean? Bro, okay, no, there's nothing no, 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 no. wrong with being I, I, gay, by the way. It's Drake's dick. You there's nothing wrong with it. You want to look at how his dick I, looks? No. You know what's crazy? There was zero curiosity bro. in my soul that went, oh, I would wonder what this guy's no, dick looks No, I, I was on vacation when like I'm seeing all the memes where like there's like a noodle, like guys playing around with like a noodle and stuff. I've seen the memes. And I'm like, I'm like, yo, this guy packing like that? And one day I was on Twitter and I saw it, I'm like, no, 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 bro, he's packing. The elephant meme? Did you see that one? No, I see, but I seen a bunch. Like, seen noodles. Actually, I think I did see the elephant one too. I it's just bare memes of him having a. I want to see if the rumors are true. I scroll one day. I'm like, I oh. actually so said the business, to my friend. The business was true. The business was true. Business was true. When we saw like true. the video, we were like, "Oh shit, girl!" And I was like, "Yo, this man, you fuck him on your period, and he puts the spaghetti. You put the sauce." Oh, nice. Is- Crazy. He got that long day, but no, that's something. Mm, I would run away from that. Do you know what a spaghetti blowjob is? Oh yeah, no? I never heard that. That what is it? Okay, so basically, um, you know, like ragu sauce, like spaghetti sauce, like bolognese sauce. So the girl would put that in her mouth as well as spaghetti while sucking your dick. Why would anyone do that? It's like a sensation, like when you feel like the salsa. Like okay, the so this is my theory. He made that shit up. He might do it on his free time. You're an actual sex worker who's done crazy shit before and never heard this. Former. For, sorry, sorry, sorry. Former artist. That's crazy. You're a weirdo. Yeah, fan. no. I, I, what can I say? I'm a freak. I mean, I'm crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> what about with like ice cubes in your mouth? You know what I mean? Okay, means? yeah, ice cubes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah, I actually shot. did a video clip which has an explicit. I call it erotic art, and I do use an ice cube. I actually did one of my video clips. I was like, okay, I don't have a budget for a video clip. What am I gonna do? Uh, so we made it with the, my phone. We went to a telo in Argentina, which is a um, hotel you pay by the hour to fuck. Crazy. And it had like a pole. And my friend was like, we're just going to shoot this. And we kind of made like made all erotic stuff. And it was posted in OnlyFans. So that was definitely a fun project. Crazy. I just did it for fun. Crazy. I do it for the art. I do it for the pleasure. Crazy. I see sex. I like, I, I like to perform so much that to me, sex is performing. I'm actually a virgin, so I'm just talking shit. But um, <laughs> yeah, so uh, question. Who do you think won, Drake or Kendrick? Kendrick. <clears throat> Kick this ass. I actually, you know, I like, I feel bad for Drake. Not bad, I wouldn't say that, but like, I empathize for him. Seeing everyone dance to Kendrick's song, having that number one, 
Like he broke two records too. That, but, that's. But I, I don't think he's having. I'm a not trying to sound like a Drake right fanboy or anything, right? Was well, because of Drake. But uh, apparently, like a lot of the stuff he said was planted by Drake. Through his mole. I don't well, apparently, believe, apparently I, those cat they debunked that on Twitter. Oh, did they? Yeah. Crazy. No, I don't think he's having a good time, but you know, karma's real. When you just go around in life clowning people and laughing when they're clowning people and you don't have the ability to empathize, the universe is gonna do it to you. That way you learn. Mm. Crazy. To be to have some empathy. Do we think that this beef is bigger than the Tupac Biggie beef? Um mm -mm. Well, no one has died, so I would not say that it's bigger, mm. but it's definitely more mainstream. Fair. I think, fair. yeah, you're right. I think it's bigger, but not as serious, maybe. I think back then they're actual gangsters. No, he's and leaving now the just Wait, artists. wait, are you saying Drake's not a gangster? Uh, <laughs> I, think, I, 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 think, I think he's a performer, like you. He's a performer, yeah. Well, well I'm actually, like I, I used to be. <laughs> well,. I used to you be a sex dick, worker. Though. I have more street cred than him. Fair. Like, in that sense, I'm like, mm, but I'm, I'm not a thug or a gangster. No. He is. No. Far from it. Summer kid. Bad boy. Never he is a him. bad boy. Never even seen a picture of a gun before. <laughs> oh, but you've seen it. Drake's cock. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. Nice, bro. <laughs> oh, man. I guess I'm in that, that eight. Yeah, you're the, you're the um, yeah, you definitely like you take up the ball. That's crazy. Yeah? Fucking never. No, not, not against it, but uh, not for me. Well, now Drake knows that you've seen his cock, so beware. That's crazy. Beware <laughs> oh of your my DMs. God. That's crazy. Beware oh. of your DMs, yeah, my love. That's crazy. He may come looking for you. Oh, that's crazy. Good thing I'm married. <laughs> good thing I'm leaving Canada. I so heard he likes threesomes, so you're good. Oh, that's crazy. Like all three guys. I mean, I feel like when someone's that famous and can have everything, yeah, they were going to do everything. What the fuck? Crazy. That's... Uh, man, imagine, like, you fucking Drake. That's fuck. What the fuck is wrong with That's you That's iconic. Guy? Oh, my God. I would that, watch that. Well, Lahi fam, I'm That's not going to lie. I, I reckon if you ever got that opportunity for the podcast, what the do fuck it. is wrong? <laughs> so you're saying you take the opportunity? No, no, I'm saying you no, should. No, 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 but, but you're just saying, he's like, yo... I think if you'll, you you'll fuck you, it, and then you'll come on the podcast after. No, then, you know, I, would not, I would not. I would not. You would not fuck him if he no. came to the podcast. No, no. Oh, you're such a bad hoe. I'm a what? You're such a bad hoe. A bad hoe. I'm not a hoe. You gotta be I a little you, bit of a I'm hoe a, in I'm life. A virgin. You think so? I mean, <clears throat> in a moral way, I think you should know that there's things you're gonna have to do to get what you want. Try not to hurt people in the process, but. But hold on, aren't like Mexican people very religious? Argentinian people. Oh, oh yeah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm I'm like a, a demon by everyone what? that's religious religious. Yeah. And that's why like I I call myself one of my alter egos is Lilith, which is like the female devil. Yeah. And I wear that with so much pride. Oh, well, you're wearing like, red today too. Crazy. Mm -hmm. Fuck. But I don't believe Crazy. I mean I believe in good and evil, but I believe we all have You're wearing it. black. It's all a balance. Crazy. Balance. Crazy. Now, before we close this video off, let's. Uh, what's some goals for your music in the next upcoming years? Now you have a lot of momentum. You're riding the whole South American wave. Well, now with this project, I really hope to be able to show people more of a, the depth of my story. I think I was really focusing on trying to make a commercial hit, and now I'm like, fuck that shit. I'm just gonna make like real art and yeah. speak from my soul and speak from my heart. Um, and finally, a, a lot of healing, like showing them my story with this project. It's called Made in Toronto, actually. Jeez. It's called Me in Toronto and it has different chapters. Um, Toronto whipped my ass. It was not, it's, it was, no, it is. It was not an easy city. Like, I suffered a lot here, but um, I'm turning all of that into something beautiful. So I really hope that I can connect with people and I really hope that Toronto likes it because I love this city and I'm making something beautiful for them. W. Wow. W. I have a quick question. I just have a random urge that you can do this. Are you able to do a backflip? A what? A backflip. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I don't know. You just seemed as someone that would be able to do a backflip. I don't no, know. No, no. I'm reaching my splits now, but black... So black flip. That I'm <laughs> a, a, what? I was about to say backflip, and I was like, black flip. Oh, okay, okay. Came out of my mouth. Is that when, like, black people wear, like, white face? Black <laughs> flip? It's like Michael Jackson. Black MJ. flip. Like final four? Final four. Okay, so we're going to go into our final four round. <clears throat> Basically, we're going to ask you four questions, and you're going to see the first thing that comes to your head, okay? Okay. Uh, if you had to swap lives with someone for 24 hours, who would you pick? Oh. That's 
so hard. I love my life. Uh, who would be interesting or not? Mm. A big politician, so I can know every dirty little secret in the world. <laughs> Someone re really powerful. Uh, so not Joe Biden. Jeffrey Epstein. He's dead. He's dead. But it could be dead or alive. I, okay, I would be. Oh, that's horrible. Did though he? you were such a <laughs> bad person. <laughs> But I would love to know all, like someone from the, I don't know, someone from the FBI or the government, I would right. love to know all the secrets. Fair. The Pope? Fair. The Pope. Ooh, the Pope. That one. That one knows all the shit. And he's Argentinian. I, I think you're too haram for that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Denied. I would make the Pope sin. I would ruin his career one day Crazy. as the Pope. And he would come out like swingling his dick. And I'm like, this Crazy. is going to be iconic. This is going to make it to the news. Crazy. Comes out of the window, swingles the dick. I don't know if the Pope's like young enough to even get hard anymore. He's probably, he's like what, like 70 something? Oh, he's old. He's old. Yeah, he's, he's, old. he's about to die soon too, I think. I think he's like very ill. Oh, he told you? <laughs> it's like public news, man. <laughs> Crazy. All right, what would you say is the most motivating person of all time for yourself? The most motivating person. I have inspirations. My two, I have my, I call it my artistic uh, family tree. And I'm like, my mom is Britney, my dad is The Weeknd, my grandma's Madonna, uh, and Elvis, and Michael Jackson and Beyonce. But motivational, that's a good one. Uh, if for motivation-wise, I would go for Madonna. Madonna? Oh, okay. Let's I just say, you're say Lady Gaga. Or Gaga, too. I love Gaga. I love it when she gawks. Um, let's just she say <laughs> your whole life from the day you were born till now was written in a book. What would the title of that book be called? Oh... This is a good podcast, though. Mm. <laughs> There's a song coming out, which is the next one that's going to come out. Okay. I'm aware that it's the name of a movie. I didn't know until later. Uh, Braveheart. Is that a Disney movie? No, it's one with um, a guy that rides horses or something like that. Sounds lame. But, <laughs> but it's the next song that's coming out. Um, well, not the next one's on Friday, which is a different one, and then the other one. And it's called Braveheart. So I think that would be the so, okay. Last question is, if today was your final message to the world, what would your final message be? Have courage to live your truth. And shit will happen. Embrace it and grow. Tell me. Wow. All right. That was solid. Do you want to make any plugs before we close this one off? So this Friday, the beginning of the Made in Toronto uh, chapter, the first chapter is coming out. So you're going to get to see the beginning of my story, which is the first time I walked into a strip club and what happened and how I was taken there because I didn't know it was a strip club. So it's, it's all going to start on Friday, and I really hope. Wait, like human traffic style? Um, they said it was a burlesque audition. Crazy. Yeah, and then I went there, and that was not it. I, I was really, really naive. How old were you? I was 18. Crazy. Yep. That's fucking terrible. So it's starting on Friday. Okay. So I hope that everyone tunes in and enjoys the ride. Solid. All right. Wow. BBL, Tracy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that one pretty much was, that one pretty, ah, lost for words. That one pretty much lost for that. Yo, buddy, he that like one, Drake's dick. Crazy. Uh, that one pretty much wraps up the episode. That's crazy. It just, uh, it uh, it uh, yeah, 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 crazy. It happens to me too. I think of dick and I start gargling. That's fucking. Oh <laughs> my god. I'm going home. That's that was a good, good episode. What did you think? It was really good. <laughs>